Good evening. My name is Colonel Brian Anacarico, and I was unable to attend the reunion tonight due to work commitments. For those of you that do not know me, I played Dodge Ferry football in the early 1980s and graduated from Dodge Ferry High School in 1984. I am currently a United States Marine and have been for the past 24 years. I've been fortunate enough to be entrusted to fly the AVAB Harrier aircraft and to lead a Marine Corps Harrier squadron in combat in Iraq. I'm currently the commanding officer for Marine Corps Base Hawaii. I'm here to tell you a little bit about how Dodge Ferry football shaped my thought process and work ethic and has helped me throughout my life. I will compare and contrast the similarities between the Marine Corps and being a Dodge Ferry Eagle. Much like being an Eagle, being a Marine is something to be proud of. It puts you in an organization that is much larger than yourself and allows a person to accomplish great things unachievable by the individual alone. We have a saying in the Marine Corps, the strength of the pack is the wolf and the strength of the wolf is the pack. In short, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. If you think about that statement, it says that a cohesive unit working together can generate results far greater than can be expected from individuals loosely coordinated around a common goal. Teamwork makes the United States Marine Corps the greatest fighting force in history. Teamwork also made the Dodge Ferry Eagles a team that has successes far greater than expected. These successes are highlighted by the longest winning streak in New York State and the year after year successes achieved on the football field. I learned how to work toward a common cause and achieve goals that others thought were unachievable by playing Dodge Ferry football. The hallmark of Dodge Ferry football is discipline. Dis discipline is also deeply ingrained in the ethos of the Marine Corps. I remember going over plays on the tennis courts under the lights to ensure that we were ready for whatever the other team had to throw at us. The Marine Corps is the same way. We train under the harshest conditions to ensure that we are ready for any fight in any climb in any place. As an Eagle, we knew when we took the field that we were ready for anything the other team had to throw at us. I know when I go into the battle space with the Marine Corps that we are the most prepared to win the battle and we are ready for anything the enemy has to throw at us. In both cases, we could have accepted mediocrity, we could take the easy way out, or we could have settled for, you know, we tried pretty hard. But the bottom line is, much like the saying that used to hang in the equipment room in Dodge Ray High School, luck is where preparation meets opportunity. There are no shortcuts, there is no prize for second place. I learned these ideals playing Dodge Ray football. The worst thing a Marine can do is let down another Marine. Many Marines have paid the ultimate sacrifice so that their brethren will be able to live to fight another day. We call it esprit de corps. If you're worried about the current generation of young Americans being soft or being non-hackers, rest easy knowing that we have Marines that are injured badly, arms and legs missing, and do you know what, the, what they want to do the most? They want to get back to their units so that they can help their fellow Marines and not let them down. This generation of young people never ceases to amaze me and what they are willing to endure to ensure the freedom of the United States. They didn't learn this by accident. Let's not kid ourselves. Team sports are designed to separate the strong from the weak, to separate the individuals and the teams that want to excel from the ones that have no will to do so. You can celebrate tonight with the knowledge that you had the courage to dare to be great. You had the ability and the desire and the intestinal fortitude to get the job done. I've learned never to let my teammates down by playing Dodge Ferry football. These are lessons that stick with you for life. They should not be forgotten, and they should be passed on to future generations. The uniqueness of being American is that we can do whatever we put our mind to. We have the freest society that allows creative ideas to flow freely. This innovation, problem solving, and quite frankly, the edge that America has on the rest of the world is learned from a very young age through interactions where successes and failures are measured by your efforts, your determination, and your abilities. That one sound all right? In closing, Theodore Roosevelt said it the best when he stated, it is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done better. The credit belongs to the man who's actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs and comes up short again and again because there is no effort without error or shortcoming but who knows the great enthusiasms and the great devotions, who spends himself for a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at worst, if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls 
who knew neither victory nor defeat. I'm sorry I could not be with you tonight. I hope you have a great evening and reflect on the things that make Dasrae football, the Marine Corps, and America great. Semper Fidelis.